start with the last talk of the session by Bo Young. Uh, we'll talk about quantum error suppression with subgroup stabilization. Uh, thank you for your introduction. Um, I'm Bo Young. Uh, I'm giving a talk on the uh, quantum, yeah, quantum error suppression with subgroup stabilization, uh, which is the joint work with uh, Elham Kachafi, uh, Dominique Leichtel, and uh, Olivier. Uh, so, yeah, Dominique's over there. So, um, yeah. Uh, and thanks to the uh, uh, the talk by uh, Jen Yu, um, I guess uh, I don't have to explain you know uh, much about quantum mitigation, but um, yeah, uh, the idea is uh, very similar to the uh, Jen Yu's uh, talk. So uh, it, our contribution in uh, our sentence uh, will be uh, that we say design the quantum state purification with uh, taking m noisy input and output m purified outputs using um, order of log m ancillary qubit and log, uh, order of log m uh, steps of uh, permutation operation controlled by the by each ancillary. So this will uh, quadratically uh, suppress the uh, error probability p to p to square. And um, I draw, uh, if you apply this gadget repeatedly, uh, you can suppress uh, the uh, coherent, either coherent or stochastic er errors to uh, uh, linearly smaller to the number of copies. And then, um, uh, yeah, we actually reduce uh, the circuit implementation cost uh, from the previous uh, work, which, which adopt uh, the same idea as uh, state purification, uh, stabilization uh, of uh, the M copies. Um, you know, um, yeah, the, the, so, so the implementation cost uh, is drastically uh, reduced from the previous paper. And um, yeah, so this uh, work is, uh, can be seen as uh, kind of a beyond quantum mitigation uh, because we are targeting to uh, purify the quantum, uh, sorry, uh, reduce the noise in the quantum states in, instead of uh, 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 expectation value, uh, which is uh, addressed by the quantum mitigation mainly. Um, yeah. So uh, yes, because uh, in this sense, we can uh, also uh, hot say we uh, do some error, error suppression uh, when we try to uh, solve the thumping problem. Um, and then the, our impl uh, the implementation cost of our method is kind of uh, uh, before the four tolerance and uh, um, are way a little bit more uh, uh, heavier than. Uh, the near-term scheme. So, um, so the quantum state purification in this context is to um, exploit the redundancy of uh, the symmetry uh, of a multiple noisy input uh, by post-selecting uh, somehow the symmetric subspace. So this this idea is uh, uh, firstly um, proposed by a uh, very uh, uh, say, um the the pap uh, paper long time ago. Um, uh, yeah, so it, it is to uh, stabilize M, M copies into the symmetric subspace using the symmetric group. And we uh, basically uh, refer to this idea and uh, make the circuit implementation of this method uh, lighter than uh, the previous one. Uh, yeah. And actually, this stabilization uh, uh, method is also uh, inspiring uh, somehow. Uh, the purification-based method, uh, which is also um, referred to as um, virtual uh, state purification in uh, Jenny's book, uh, essentially uh, to uh, compute uh, the uh, error-mitigated uh, expectation value uh, by computing the trace of uh, higher degrees of uh, powers of uh, density matrix. And um, in our uh, uh, proposed method, we also showed a quantity of uh, the sampling costs uh, in terms of uh, expected number of copies we have to uh, pay to achieve, uh, to obtain the, um, the purified quantum state. So uh, we use somehow um, the, con uh, the, the works uh, in the context of uh, uh, the st state purification in terms of uh, fidelity, uh, optimal fidelity, yeah. Especially this uh, recursive purification of high dimension, dim dimensional state. Okay, so um, for the, uh, the the very simple case of uh, state purification uh, by stabilization, uh, we can uh, take uh, the swap te swap test or uh, in different words swap gadget as in, as an example. So if you see um, uh, if you 
okay, if you assume that uh, the, the noise, uh, noisy state row uh, can be uh, spectral dec decomposed in this way, so it is a classical mixture of uh, each eigen uh, vectors um, with uh, eigen state, uh, so, uh, yeah, which, which eigen states are sorted uh, in a, a descending order. Um, then you can uh, obtain uh, this uh, purified, kind of slightly purified uh, quantum states as an out output uh, taking the form of linear combination of uh, original noisy uh, quantum state and the, 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 the square of the original noisy state. So this square, uh, as Jamie told, uh, will uh, how to say, suppress the uh, sub submissive eigenvectors um, and um, amplify the co contribution of uh, the, the dominant eigenvector. Then you can see that uh, this line the linear combination of rho and uh, rho square will uh, kind of increase the purity of the quantum states. So um, generalizing this idea, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this uh, very, I'd say, old paper of, uh, by Baron Cole et al. Uh, uh, projects M inputs instead of two uh, to their symmetric uh, subspace, uh, I'd say, designed by the, uh, uh, associated with um, symmetric subspace, uh, symmetric group. So um, they uh, project, uh, I'd say, M copies of uh, noisy inputs into, I'd say, um, permutation invariant uh, subspace. So for the for example the the symmetric uh, the the basis base of uh, the basis of a uh, uh, symmetric subspace of uh, three copies will be like this. Then uh, you can see that each copies of uh, so each basis in each basis um I'll say this uh it there are, uh, each register has a uh, uh, I'll say uh, permutation invariance uh, in it. Sorry, okay, Th this one is additional. Sorry, um, it's a typo. And they assume uh, their gadgets can be used as a repetitive, uh, I'd say, kind of this in, in this repetitive way. So um, in a in a in a short time uh, evolution delta t. So if uh, yeah, if you use n step and um, uh, in each step uh, with delta t time evolution, um, uh, apply, followed by this uh, state purification gadget, um, you can actually uh, keep the uh, uh, exponential decaying errors uh, small, small enough uh, at the end. Because, um, for example, if you take a uh, polynomial number of uh, copies uh, here, then uh, without this state verification, um, the error, uh, sorry, uh, the success probability of obtaining uh, uh, the, 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 the pure state uh, is this can be approximated in, in this quantity, but um, if this uh, state purification gadget can suppress the errors uh, into a one over m scale, uh, then this uh, with this gadget, uh, so the error uh, will be, I'd say, kept in uh, exponentially smaller to this level. Um, but the implementation cost of this gadget is relatively huge because you have to pay uh, uh, m log m of uh, uh, ancillary qubits and especially this uh, unitary U here is to uh, create the uh, uniformly um, uh, sub, uh, uniform, uh, uh, uniform superposition of each uh, quantum state. So um, if this, uh, this, if M uh, factorial here is not uh, two to M, then you have to essentially do the quantum Fourier transformation, which also takes kind of, uh, uh, yeah, uh, this uh, log L, M log M uh, square, uh, of uh, control, uh, sorry, swap gates. And then here, each, con uh, we, you also have to apply log order of uh, m log m uh, uh, permutation uh, operation. So this will also increase the uh, number of uh, swap gates inside. Um, uh, sorry, uh, not swap, I mean the two qubit gates. So yeah, it doesn't, uh, in terms of implementation cost, it, it's not really, I'd say, uh, good for, uh, before the tutorial. So here we propose um, uh, the cyclic group gadget, uh, which is uh, to map the M noisy inputs into the uh, rotation invariant subspace uh, uh, by using the, let's say, uh, the cyclic group CM here. So the project uh, uh, is, uh, let's say, modified from this, um, this, this projector to this one. 
then um, yeah yeah then the the circuit uh, overhead will be uh, decrease will, will decrease from uh, low, low, order of log m m log m uh, qubits to just log m qubits and uh, this uh, the required permutation operation here uh, will also be uh, uh, reduced into uh, just log m steps. Yeah. So um, if you see the repeated repetitive application of uh, either a symmetric group gadget and a cyclic group gadget, um, we uh, see these two have the same purification performance under the short time evolution uh, with this noise uh, noisy state. So um, the idea is that uh, under the short time evolution, um, you can take the first order of uh, the, the delta t, then the error uh, is also uh, just just increase this um, the the first of uh, first order contribution of delta t. So um, if you apply the the gadget of uh, even the the cyclic group gadget, you can uh, suppress the error into one one over m by factor of uh, one over m. Yeah, compared to the uh, without any um, air, sub air suppression. And um, for the uh, stochastic errors, um, you can also assume that uh, uh, the noisy state as uh, the linear combination of uh, the, the pure, pure state and the, the trace free um, Hamiltonian uh, sigma k. And if you take the first order of uh, put, uh, this uh, approximation of uh, uh, this uh, sigma, then you can just consider take this part uh, into account. You don't have to take this part. So um, then you can also see that uh, the fidelity and the purity uh, are, let's say, kind of modified uh, or uh, improved uh, in terms of this uh, by factor of uh, one over m. Um, so yeah. So um, we can also uh, consider the single round application of uh, our proposed method. Um, I'm giving an example uh, with uh, eight copies here. So the circuit implementation of uh, uh, this eight copies model is, uh, can be specifically uh, drew, drew down in, in this case. Uh, so um, yeah, you just do the, let's say local Hadamard gate and then um, apply, the, apply uh, log M of, uh, uh, you know, times of uh, permutation, which is three here. And then actually this, the project here uh, is uh, specifically can be written down as uh, this form, um, which is a linear combination, equally linear combination of uh, the project of uh, uh, the permutation operation. Uh, so each corresponds to um, this uh, kind of uh, operation. Um, then what you obtain as uh, output states uh, is, um, you know, it's a linear combination of uh, a row, original row, and um, a linear, linearly amplified, uh, sorry, I'd say, mm, you know, the higher degrees of uh, row uh, with linearly uh, amplified uh, coefficients. So um, in this case, you can see that, um, yeah, uh, our gadgets can be, can, I'd say, suppress, uh, or I suppress the, uh, the noise also linearly. Well, um, Actually, ideally, I can finish my talk here, but um, uh, the world is very cruel uh, that, you know, this row to eight, for example, row to M anyway, uh, would not only amplify uh, the do dominant eigenvector exponentially larger, but um, will also suppress, I'd say the global, uh, I'd say amplitude um, uh, exponentially uh, smaller. So the contribution of this part is not that big, big. Uh, as these four are written here. And then this means uh, you, you will see somehow the balance points uh, because this, the contribution of uh, amplification, uh, amplification of uh, row to eight uh, through the coefficients is linear, linearly growing uh, to the number of copies M. But here, the contribution of uh, row to M uh, part will decrease exponentially to M. So you will see some balance points uh, of you know, pu uh, the purified state. And this is the numerical simulation. Uh, well, you can see that uh, at some point, if you increase the number of copies, um, okay, this is for the, uh, the, the, the polarized input, but um, the purification rate uh, P 
t tilde over p will go back to the original uh, uh, noisy level, uh, no, no, let's say noise level. So you can clearly see somehow the, the, the balance point here. But um, you can still see that, OK, uh, it is very unlikely that uh, you, you use 1,000 of uh, copies uh, in, in, in this gadget. So just focus, uh, just use uh, 10 qubit then, uh, sorry, 10, 10 copies, then the error scaling is still linear, linearly scaling, scaling um, which is good, uh, still good, um, somehow fits uh, a certain purpose of our usage. Yeah. And uh, it seems, it also seems that um, uh, the, the decree, the, the maximal, uh, let's say, purification point, this balance point uh, will suppress the error into uh, from P to P square, which is actually true uh, also from the theory. So we show that um, for the, the balance point here, uh, the M will uh, be one minus uh, one over log one minus, minus T. And using this number of copies, uh, you will achieve uh, the, the optimal, sorry, the maximal, uh, maximally, how to say, suppressed uh, error probability, uh, P, let's say P star in this form. And the, if you assume that P is small enough, then the P star will be, uh, can be approximated as uh, E P square. So it's a, a, a quadratical um, error suppression. Um, and to achieve this quadratic, Quadratical uh, error suppression, uh, you have to uh, pay all of uh, P, uh, one over P uh, uh, sampling, uh, how to say, number of copies. This is also optimal by uh, reasoning uh, or com comparing uh, the sampling cost of our method and the recursive application of soft gadget, uh, where they show the, their, the, the optimality of uh, the, in terms of uh, sampling cost. So, in this sense, we can claim that uh, by the how say dominant factor, we can claim that um, our uh, the sampling cost of our method is optimal. So um, finally, um, we compare the uh, the implementation cost and the purification rate of uh, each method. So you can see that um, you know in the uh, in the very first uh, work of uh, uh, symmetric uh, group gadget. Um, they use uh, the projection in terms of uh, a symmetric group uh, to achieve a purification rate of uh, one over M uh, with, with M out purified output, but it uses um, M log M uh, order of uh, ancillary qubit and uh, further more uh, controlled subgates. And actually, uh, and uh, actually, you may think you may think this uh, error suppression by derangement circuit, uh, the virtual state purification method. Um, just you know, uses a, a single ancillary qubit and a, a linear scaling of a, a control swap gate, but it doesn't help uh, uh, suppressing the errors in the quantum state. But it's rather to suppress the error in the expectation value, which is different from our uh, uh, let's say our goal. Um, and this recursive for this recursive application of a uh, uh, swap gadget, they. Uh, they also seem uh, to achieve uh, somehow lighter implementation, but they just give uh, two outputs. So it doesn't help, uh, how to say, it, it's not, it doesn't fit the repetitive, repetitive application of uh, this purification gadget. Yeah. So in this sense, uh, our proposal will, can be seen as a kind of a sweet spot, uh, taking all of them, as, uh, how to say, taking all of the, the advantage of uh, their methods. So yeah, it's a really nice, that nicely balanced method, which can be, how to say, run on the early FTQC um, uh, scheme. And yeah, uh, of course, uh, the overhead, if you see from here, uh, from the uh, error mitigation method, um, it's only the log M overhead. OK, so as a future application, of course, you can uh, consider uh, you know, combining uh, the, the cyclic group gadget with um, the uh, error correction code, but um, we can also address the uh, the the, the uh, problem of how uh, say robust uh, quantum verification protocol, uh, especially um, you know when you assume that uh, the the future how say um, quantum ecosystem is it is very likely to have uh, the quantumly limited client on the server. So uh, in this scenario, you, you may you may want to say verify the correctness or the blindness of the computation against the server. So. 
um, this problem is uh, well studied by uh, previous works, but it's not really how to say well studied. Oh, sorry, well studied um, uh, for the sampling problems. Um, so this is one direction, and the, the other direction can be the combination of uh, the virtual channel purification. Um, yeah, uh, which is given by the uh, by Jen Yu in the previous talk. So yeah, just take home message. Uh, we uh, I'd say design the psychic group gadget, uh, which will uh, suppress the uh, error rate p to its quadratic uh, order with uh, uh, the inverse. Uh, I'd say um, like linear uh, sample, uh, also which is also op shown as op optimal. And um, yeah, so the circuit implementation cost is uh, uh, drastically reduced from the previous work. And also um, it's just log m, m uh, times uh, larger than the uh, purification-based quantum implication method. Finally, we, uh, we analyzed uh, which part is, uh, how to say, influential in the uh, in suppressing the, the error from the quantum state instead of uh, uh, expectation value. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, thank you for your attention. And uh, I'm uh, uh, just turned to the uh, third year of PhD. So I'm uh, kind of looking for a postdoc position. Um, so please feel free to talk to me. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Are there any questions in the room? Uh... Thank you for a very interesting talk. Um, I want to ask uh, about uh, I want to ask about sampling overhead uh, compared to the virtual purification. I mean the quantum error mitigation method. Um, in some work, um, some in some work they say that um, when we want to like purify. I mean, when we want to mitigate errors on quantum state itself, not the, at the expectation value level, like we need to spend exponentially more sampling overhead in terms of qubit count n. But um, so in your work, um, does it there is there any like qubit um, qubit count dependence on your sampling overhead, or is it, it does not matter? Uh, uh yes. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, it's a really nice point. Um, actually, uh, I didn't really mention uh, this this figure actually. Uh, but this figure says that uh, if you increase the dimension dimension of uh the quantum states, it will converge to um a certain you know um this curve red curve, right? So um, well we can see that um uh yeah even for the infinite dimension of uh uh. The quantum state or the, the finite dimension, which is you know uh, very close to infinite, it's still uh, scaling with uh, inverse polynomial. Uh, sorry, inverse. Uh, how to say the one over p uh, for, for the sampling cost because we uh, this discussion holds for the inf infinite dimension of uh, the quantum state. So yeah, uh, hope this hope this makes sense. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other question? Yeah, yes, yes, you're right. Um, you mean uh, we, we can do the same same stuff as the, this recursive uh, application, or is it what you want to do? Okay, good. Um, yeah, it's possible, but you have to consume kind of exponential uh, cost. Yeah, well, you, you can optimize that. You don't have to um, pay exponentially, uh, uh, you know, many copies actually. But uh, we didn't really analyze that because it's uh, kind of a little bit complicated and uh, trivial. So, um, but essentially, it's it's possible. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the nice talk. So, um, the control permutation operations that you need to implement the gadget, how complicated are these? Yeah, um, 
So you can decompose uh, uh, this one, for example, this one into eight uh, controlled swap gates. Uh, the, I mean, the Toffoli gates. Um, so yeah. So to implement this one, you will uh, you have to consume a linear number of uh, uh, how to say. Uh, uh, yeah, properly gate to the number of copies, the linear scaling to the number of copies. Okay, so um, I guess this turns back to the question that was asked in the previous talk that uh, currently these controlled swaps are difficult to implement. So um, if you need multiple rounds of this, then the error should add up. Uh, so, uh, okay, so what I mean is what is the regime that we might, uh, this scheme might be practical right now? Yes. Um, so um, if you write this form into the circuit uh, picture, uh, you will see, a con the con you see many controlled uh, swap gates. But um, actually, we can do the same uh, in the photonic uh, scenario. Then uh, you don't have to uh, even introduce the additional uh, ancillaries or you know, the controlled swap gate. So we hope uh, our gadget will be especially useful in the in this uh, platform. Just a follow-up question. So have you done any analysis if, so in this scheme, we are assuming that the ancillas are noiseless, right? Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, this part, all of all of these parts are. Uh, the, yeah. uh, the so noise. have you, uh, do you have any estimates of what might happen if there's noise in these parts as well? Yeah. Um, Actually, this is a, a nice question, which is also applies to JNU's uh, framework. But um, yeah, we have uh, no. They analyze the the noisy uh, case, but um, we 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 will we are you know doing the analysis. So essentially, it depends on your circuit noise, right? So what, what this noise will do is essentially, okay, you mitigate all of the circuit noise, but you add this tiny bit on top. So as long as uh, the noise brim by this additional bit is much smaller compared to the circuit noise you are removing, then you'll be good. And you can see that this is a linear number of gates, even if it's toffly or things like that, this is just a linear number of gates compared to usually a circuit you will want to run like linear depth which means n square gates or like even much more. And then for the ancillary and things like that, you can even implement additional error mitigation on top of it because it's just one single qubit or two like log number of qubit, which is very easy to characterize their noises. Yeah, that's right. Um, so um, this also has the, the balance points in the sense that uh, you increase the depth of the circuit, you, you won't be, how to say, you, you won't harvest some any any of the advantage over this. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Let's thank both speakers of the session again.